and good evening, everyone. Dear English students from Inglés Corporativo, how are you doing tonight? Huh? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm so happy to see you back in class. On time. Very punctual. Huh? How is your day? How is your day? My day was um great. <laughs> really? Yeah, what I went to the, um, the supermarket with my sister. With your sister? Yes. Is she older than you or younger than you? Um, older than me. That's good. That's yeah. good. That's good that both of you help for, for your family, right? Uh, you do the shopping. That's great. Yeah. Good. Do you also cook? Yes, teacher. That's nice. Carlos David says, Buenas noches, teacher. Por el momento vas en camino a casa. Solo estaré de oyente. Ok, Carlos, nos avisas cuando llegues a casa para que podamos tomar tu participation. Um, Listos a subir sus virtual hands when you're ready to participate. Ok. So, needless to say, let's get started. Uh, yesterday, we saw some information about houses and apartments, right? Today, we will follow up with that. All right, here we go. Let's watch this video out. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns, he, she, and it, does, or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun 
day and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be posited by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes he does or negative by saying no he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Alrighty, alrighty, let's go over the video. I have a new... We have a conversation. Ready to practice? Yes, ready. I'm ready. ready. Ready, okay. Ready for that uh, pronunciation. Give your best. Give your best. Do you have any question about the conversation, about the vocabulary right here? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I am not understand well. Well, well is like um, an expression to open an idea. Mm -hmm. It's like, bueno, um, tiene un, una sala. So it's like, like for introducing the idea. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Any other question, guys? No more questions? Okay. Let's go. Uh, teacher Caleb will interpret Linda and students will interpret Chris. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, Alrighty. let's do it. Yeah. Three, two, one, let's go. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. It's really beautiful. It's very big. It's very big. Very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom in a kitchen. What is it? What is Hmm. On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That's a happy view. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pronunciation. One moment, please. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, we have a little problem with some pronunciation. For example, what's it like? What's it like? What's, what's it like? like. What's, what's it like? like? What's, what's it like? 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 Um, ¿Quién me da la interpretación de esa pregunta? ¿Qué es lo que te gusta? Mm, no. ¿Qué tal, ¿Qué tal te gusta? Mm, no. Ahora, ustedes me reconocen este verbo, ¿correcto? Like. Ah, ustedes me lo reconocen. Casa, Correcto. Ustedes me lo conocen como en afirmaciones, como ustedes dicen, I like, I like pizza, I like uh, electronic music, etc. Oh. En afirmaciones. Ok, esta es una pregunta. This is a question. Es una pregunta. ¿Cómo es? 
Estamos no preguntando es. por description, correcto. Yo te puedo sustituir acá el it y puedo preguntarte por tu hermano o por tu hermana, right? Estamos hablando, we're talking about your brother. Yo te pregunto, hey, what's your brother like? A ver, todos repitamos, what's your brother like? What's your brother like? Your brother like? Y decimos, what's, what's, la contracción de what is, porque es singular, es una persona. Hey, ¿cómo es tu hermana? What's she like? What's your sister? Repeat, what's your sister like? Correcto, estoy preguntando de descripción, que me digas, ah, she's beautiful, she's tall, she's short, nice. Entonces, pongámoslo ahí como algo, un punto clave de esta noche. Um, ¿Qué más, qué más, qué más? Ah, acá, en la pregunta. Guys, esta pregunta es, es a just no question. Entonces, is set, is set very big? Repeat, is set very big? Is set very big? Que si, tu, que si tu casa, estamos usando la casa, en este caso, it es, representa el apartamento, ¿verdad? Apartment. It. Mm -hmm. Is it very big? Podría decir, is your new apartment very big? Pero muy largo, entonces sustituyo, right? Is it very big? Y puedo preguntar otras cosas, como is it, is it, is it, is it comfortable? Is it expensive? Is it, is it cheap? Etc. Ojo con Perdón, esas dicho. informaciones. Diga. Perdón, entonces en la anterior era ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? Es description. Es? Ajá. 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 Description. La anterior, sí. Ojo, preguntas, right? On the questions. Uh -huh. Cambia el contexto de like, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Very well. Let me see. A ver, um, how do you say in English paisaje? Hello? Great view. View. Correct. View. 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 Right? Solo un compañero lo dijo, guys. Y yo les, les pregunté, right? ¿Tienen preguntas del vocabulario? No, me dijeron, right? Y esta quizás no todas se la sabían. View es un paisaje. Ella le dijo, it has a great view of another apartment building. Tiene una genial vista de otro edificio, o sea, que no tiene buena vista. Eso es lo que quiso decir. El sinónimo de view, para los que quieren ir más allá, es landscape. Landscape. A ver, Laura, go ahead. Sí, esa era mi duda, teacher. Eh, eso le quería preguntar eh, qué pasaba con, con la otra pronunciación de las, las... landscape. Pero ya usted lo dijo. Awesome. Estamos ahí, connected. Thank bueno. Thank you. My pleasure. Vámonos a la asistencia. Ya calentamos, ¿verdad? Ya calentamos. Estamos a little rusty. <laughs> Let's see. Vamos. Alba, Luz, Cruz, de Vázquez. Present, teacher. Andrea, Elizabeth, González, Burgos. Present, teacher. Carlos David, López, Amaya. Present, teacher. Awesome. Claudia, Margarita, Constante, Quesada. Present teacher. There you go. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. I'm here. Esteban Otoniel Chiquillo Rodríguez. Gabriela Noemí Orellana Tejada. Present teacher. All right. Hazel Rocío Pastrán de Henríquez. I'm here, teacher. Lo dije bien, ¿verdad, Miss? I'm good, huh? Sí. All right. Josué Azael Orellana Mejía. Juan José García Méndez. Present, teacher. There you go. Um, Karen Jamilet Pérez Martínez. Present, teacher. Welcome to class. Carla Xiomara Centeno de Valiente. Present teacher. There you go. Crisia Gabriela Barrera Menjibar. Present teacher. Perfect. Lara Noemi Dimas Escobar. Present teacher. Marlon David Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. Marvin Nivardo Escobar. I'm here teacher. Noelia Elizabeth Núñez de Castro. Ovidio Alexander Guevara Argueta. Present teacher. 
Pamela Alexandra Melara Colocho. All right, Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present teacher. Sabrina, okay, perfect. Estamos ahí, Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Tamar Alexandra Portillo Melara. Present teacher. Tatiana Lisset Ramos Gómez. Telma Jamilet Hernández Mezquita. Present teacher. Welcome, Telma. Vilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. And Wilfredo Bonilla Alvarez. Present teacher. Got it. Thank you guys for your punctuality. Let's move on. Let me Please. share. Disculpe, yes, miss. Hola. No escuché mi nombre. Lo siento. What's your name? Santos Guadalupe. Oh, yeah. I said Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. You're in the house, right? En el chat le escribieron, teacher. Ah, really? Thank you for the information. Let's go to the chat. Let's go to the chat. It says, view es hablar de un punto de vista. Ah, puede ser que sea así, pero si this is point of view. Si this is point of view, me parece, así como dice Elena, ¿verdad? Como hemos aprendido muchos a decir, in my case, dice ella, ah, en mi caso. Entonces tú puedes decir, eh, my point of view, in my point of view, right? Mi punto de vista, de vista, view. En ese caso, el contexto es vista, right? Pero si tú dices, uh, los planes del renderos has a beautiful view. Entonces, estás hablando del, del paisaje, right? ¿Qué más tenemos? Lo pasó lista. Sí, sí, ya pasé. Gracias, Miss Guadalupe. Ahí estamos. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you, Patricia. Patricia, Jamilet. Sí, quiero ver. Patricia, Jamilet, Patricia, Jamilet, sí, 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 aquí la tengo, mis, no problem, aquí estamos, thank you, thank you for the information, bueno, vámonos de regreso a la platform, let's go to the platform, here we have our conversation, ready, ahora les toca a ustedes, chicos, ready, you're gonna start on three, two, one, That's great. What's it like? It's, it's really, really, beautiful. Beautiful. Really, beautiful. Really, beautiful. really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, where is it? Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, 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 Pasó ahí. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Thank you. Guys, antes de irnos acá um, a esta nota de cómo describió ella, esta palabrita, really, si me la subrayan ahí en sus apuntes, please, really. Se puede usar como, como cuando está algo interesante, tú dices, really. A ver, todos con ese tono, really. Really. Interesante, ¿verdad? Really. Ok. Really. Um, como. Sarcastic, sarcastic también. Really, really, right? Sarcastic puede ser. En este caso, si usted lo ocupa antes de un adjetivo, right? Antes de un adjetivo, ¿cuál es el adjetivo? Beautiful, beautiful, ok? Really beautiful. O sea que no está hermoso, está wow. Realmente hermoso. Entonces, eh, right? Engrandece en este caso el, el adjective, ok? 
A ver, y el otro apunte era acá con, acá, cuando dice Linda, well, ¿se acuerdan ayer lo que hicimos con la description? Eh, cuidadosos ahí con el artículo, a, ah, right, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, es solo uno, right, en el caso de otros compañeros decían que tenían dos, ¿verdad? Que les, ¿Se acuerdan que les decía que poníamos la S? Two bedrooms. Acá con el, con el artículo. A bathroom and a kitchen. All right. Any question? So far so good. So far so good. Bah, chivo. Entonces vamos a hacer ahorita una práctica con yes, no questions. Ahí tenemos... Yes. En, en, una, en una conversación había una, una, como una exclamación de I really sorry, como pidiendo disculpas. Imagínense que no está anterior. correcto. I am really sorry, o sea que no solamente lo lamentas, realmente lo lamentas. Lo sientes bastante. I'm really sorry. Right? I'm really sorry. <risa> Ok, entonces, let's move on. Bye. Entonces vamos a tener una práctica de 10 minutos. Let me just check here my time. Vamos a tener una práctica de 10, 10 minutos. Vamos a hablar de nuestras casas, ok, chicos. Primero vamos a aperturar con excuse me, right, el nombre del compañero. Y vamos a preguntarle, ¿vivís en una casa o vivís en un apartamento? ¿Cómo sería esa pregunta? Creo que tenemos problemas con el audio, guys. Los que tienen problemas o su, digamos, ruido, right? Los que no tienen privacidad, les suplicamos que por favor desconecten su micrófono, right? Sería um, poco útil tenerlo tenerlo encendido porque distorsionas eh, el, la audición de 20 compañeros más entonces me ayudan con eso por favor los que sí están en un lugar privado eh, sin interferencias pueden libremente abrir su micrófono chicos y pueden libremente practicar que es para lo que estamos acá ok así que vamos a hablar de nuestras casas right a ver, los que sí me dijeron, ¿cómo sería? Um, ¿Vivís en una casa o vivís en un apartamento? Do you live in an in apartment or in a house? Or in a house? But apartment iría con el artículo an. An apartment. Yes. Correcto. Entonces vas a decir, vas a unirlo. An apartment. Repeat, guys. Mm -hmm. An apartment. An apartment. An, apartment. an apartment. an apartment. A la hora de hablar, no vamos a decir an apartment. No, unámoslo. An apartment. An apartment. An apartment. An apartment. Do you live? Do you live? Repeat. Do you live? Live. Do you live in a house? Or. 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 Right? Or. 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 An apartment. An apartment. Ahí te va a decir tu compañero, ah, well, I live in a house. I live in an apartment. In an apartment. A ver, digamos, I live in an apartment. I live in an apartment. I live in an apartment. Me lo practican, eso, me lo practican, por favor. Um, ¿Les parece? ¿Estamos listos? Ten minutes, ten minutes. Yes, right. Awesome, awesome. Vamos a ver, Juan José, aperturamos contigo. Let's go, Juan José, you ready? Hey, Juan José, excuse me. Do you live in a house or an apartment? Well... I live in a house. Perfect, perfect. A ver, chicos, vamos a hacerle preguntas a Juan José. He lives in a house. Si vamos a hacerle preguntas de la casa, sería... 
Das. 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 Si vamos a hacerle pregunta de los dormitorios, que son varios. Do. 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 Right? A ver, manitas arriba. Virtual hands up. Virtual hands up. Who has a question for Juan Jose? Virtual hands up. Ok, Andrea, go ahead. Does the house have a window? Does uh, the well, house, wait, does the house have windows? Repeat, Andrea. Does the house have windows? Juan? Yes, yeah, my house has uh, five windows. Can you repeat, Juan? Uh, well, my house has uh, at five windows. Ok, le vamos a quitar el A, porque A significa uno. Ok. Repeat again. Uh, well, my house has five windows. Excellent. Excellent. Vamos a hacer una pregunta más. Elena, one more question to Juan Jose. Go ahead. Ok. Um, do the bedrooms have pic pictures? Pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm not. My house. No. They. No, they don't. Correct. Correct. Ya ahí puedes dar información adicional si tú gustas, ¿verdad? All right. Nos quedamos ahí con Juan. Ok, vámonos con alguien más. Let me see. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. A lady, a lady, let me see. Who is ready? Who is ready? Who wants to practice? Tamar. Are you ready, Tamar? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Va, tú le vas a preguntar eh, si vivís en una casa o un apartamento. Lo vamos a hacer a Marvin. Ready, Marvin? Yes. All right, let's go. Okay. Excuse me, Marvin. Do you live in an apartment or a, a house? Well, I live in a house. Excellent. So far, so good. A ver, virtual hands up. Todos los que tienen preguntitas para la casa de Mr. Escobar. Ok. Virtual hands up. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Sabrina, practice your English. Go. Okay. Um, do the bedrooms have a mirror? Excuse me? Do the bedrooms have Mirrors? Repeat, Sabri. Do the bedrooms have a mirrors? Mm -mm -mm. No, they wait, don't. Wait, wait, wait. Me estás diciendo A. A es uno. Si tú me dices A, vas a decir mirror. A, okay. mirror. Si no, lo dices en plural. Do the right, bedrooms right. have mirrors? Do the bedrooms have mirrors? No, they don't. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, no problem. Let's go with Juan Jose. You have a question. You just participated. Okay, let's go, Juan Jose. Let's go. Question for um, Mr. Escobar, right? Go ahead. Marvin, do you have, do your house has a big yard? Repeat, repeat, repeat. Is it, is it do? Is it the auxiliary do or does? Do. Do your house has House. Yes. House is third person. Look. All right, all right. Does 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 house has? Does the house? Does the house how a uh, big yard? No, it doesn't. Very well. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Cambiamos, cambiamos. Vamos con Mr. Wilfredo. Ready, Wilfredo? Yes, teacher. Ready. All right, all right, all right. Let's go with Noelia. Are you ready, Noelia? Noelia, are you there? <clears throat> Noelia is a little scared. Are you ready, Ovidio? Well, I live in a house. You live in a house? Yes. 
Okay, okay, Ovidio, can you ask the question to Wilfredo? If, ah, ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? ¿Vivís en una casa ah, o vivís en un apartamento? Vamos. And do you live in apartment or a house? Do you live, mire cómo es acá, do you live? Do you live in apartment? In, in, in um, an, in, in an um, apartment. In oh. apartment. In or, an uh, apartment. Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment or a house? A house? Well, Ovidio, I live in a house. You live in a house. Okay. I live in a house. Ah, okay. I, I, okay, 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 okay. Questions for Wilfredo about his house. Hands up. I already have Elena. Shoot a question. Okay. Um, does the house have a garden? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I have a garden. Uh -uh, not you. Not you. Your house, Wilfredo. Your das. house. Yes. Yes. Does. Yes. Yes, it does. Correct. Yes, yes it does. It does. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Because you're talking yes, about the does. house, mm -hmm. not a person. Alba, go ahead. Shoot a question. Do the bedroom has court time? Vaya, cuando estamos usando preguntas, ¿qué pasa con los verbos? ¿Ya se fijaron con los verbos? Vean acá, live, live, have, have. Los verbos se mantienen tal cual en su forma base porque estoy usando el auxiliar, right? Repeat your question, okay. please. Ok, sería, do, do the bedroom have court time? Curtains, yes. Curtains. Do the bedrooms have curtains? Repeat. Do the bedroom have curtains? Curtains son cortinas. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, it does. Ah, 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 ah. Te voy a dar una oportunidad más. Repeat the question, Alba. Do the bedroom have Cortines? Yes, they do. Excellent, excellent. Yes, they do. Es importante identificar el sujeto. El sujeto es plural, el sujeto es singular, right? Es tercera persona. Ahí vamos. Nivardo, you have a question for him. Go ahead. Practice your English. Be my guest. Yes. Does the house have a backyard? Casi no escuché. Vaya, antes que la repitas, perfeccionemos esta pronunciación. Das. 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 Ahora, the, the house. house. Das the house. Das the house. Go. Das the house. Have a backyard. A backyard. Backyard. Yes, it does. Ahí estamos, ahí estamos. Well done. Congratulations. Thank bueno, you. ya no podemos, nos quedó ya 10 minutos. Thank you for the practice. Thank you for the speaking practice. Gracias a todos los que se les quita el miedito, ¿verdad? Eh, de practicar. Eh, hay que seguir. Hay que seguir, chicos. Hay que involucrarse, right? Hay que participar hasta, pues, lograr nuestra meta, right? Let's go to the next objective tonight. The next objective is learn vocabulary for furniture. Repeat, furniture. 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 Furniture.
<laughs> eh, the carpets, the rocks, me ayudan con su audio. Um, y también vamos a aprender a household items. Repeat, household items. House, house, house. No lo lean, pronuncienlo. Household items. Son los electrodomésticos, ¿verdad? Todas las cosas así electrónicas. Let's check, let's check todos los artículos ahí. Eh, furniture, furniture. Todos so watching the video, repeating in your house. Desactiven su micrófono. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Pictures. Clock. Bed. Table. Coffee table. Microwave oven, refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen dining room, living room, bedroom. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bedroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and uh, television. My dining room has After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. And one more time, repitiendo por favor, in your house. Hi everyone. In one this more class time. you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs, stove, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, table, coffee table, microwave oven, refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, Bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bathroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My dining room has After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our. All right, all right, all right. So here we have different furniture, right? How do you say in English, librero? Bookcase. Bookcase, that is correct. Lo podría yes. encontrar también como bookshelf, que es un sinónimo. También bookcase. Let's go with reloj de pared. Clock. 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 
¿Y el de mano? Wash. 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 O oh, watch. 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 Okay. Uh, cocina. Stop. Me ayuden con el audio, por favor. Um, do I have to repeat Perdón. myself? Me quedo en, en, en... Okay. Thank you. Y, how do you say in English microondas? Microwave. Hay quienes se lo dicen esto, microwave. Microwave oven. 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 oven, oven, microwave oven, oven. microwave oven. oven, a ver todos, oven. microwave oven, microwave oven, microwave oven, how do you say in English um, espejo? Mirror. Mirror. Un espejo, un espejo. A mirror. Cinco espejos. Ah, solo un compañero lo dijo bien. Five meters. Mm, esos plurales, chicos, no quieren poner la S. Ustedes no quieren pronunciar esa S, ¿verdad? Be careful, be careful. Vamos a ver. Cama. Mm. How do you say cama? Bed. 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 Con la D. Bed. 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 Una cama. Bed. A bed. A bed. Bed. A bed. A bed. Mm -hmm. Ok. Tres camas. Three beds. Three beds. Bed. 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 Three beds. Beds. No todos la pronuncian. Three beds. Three beds. Three beds. Three beds. <risa> A ver, es que este teacher, ¿verdad? qué molesta, ¿verdad? con la S. Ajá. Right, pero después van a ver, guys, van a ver después. ¿verdad? No, Benji, no. Eh, papá, ojo, no. ojo, con sus audios, por favor, chicas. Eh, escritorio, ¿cómo you say escritorio? Desk. 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 Un escritorio. A desk. A desk. Dos escritorios. Two desks. Two desks. A ver, eh, ¿cómo se diría esta en español? Mesita de sala. Coffee table. Coffee table. Coffee, table. Coffee, table. Coffee table. A ver, hay muchas cosas más, ¿verdad? Eh, obviamente. Hay... So, esto es como. ¿Cómo se pronuncia alfombra, teacher? Alfombra, puedes decir rug. 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 Ah, acá, acá, a ver, acá, curtains. Repeat, curtains. 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 A ver, acá, lamps. 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 Refrigerator. Pardon? Repeat. Refrigerator. No, no, no. Alguien me hizo refrigerator. una pregunta. Question, question, question. ¿Era usted Hazer? Yes. Ah, ya le conozco la U bien. Dígame, ¿cuál es su pregunta? De, de, la, de lámparas, solo una es lamp. ¿Solo sí. una? ¿Cómo sería lamp. una lámpara? A lamp. A lamp. A lamp. A lamp. Me encanta que ya se les quedó los del artículo, guys. A lamp. Los que a no lamp. puedes a practicar ese singular. A lamp. Y a lamp. varias lámparas sería lamps. 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 A ver, acá, estábamos acá. Lamp. Refrigerator. 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 También pueden decirlo como fridge. 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 Okay. Y estas son como de, de una persona, ¿verdad? Armchairs. 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 
Arm chair. Cerramos porque es el brazo, ¿verdad? Arm. Ponemos los brazos. Arm. Lips close. Arm chairs. Y acá, de dos o tres personas, sofa. Sofa. Acá, sillas normales, chairs. Chairs. A ver. Kitchen, dining room, living room, and bedroom. Quiero que me preparen por lo menos tres cosas que cada uno de ellos tiene. My kitchen has, my dining room has, my living room has, my bedroom has. Ojo. Tienen que ser por lo menos dos, preferiblemente tres. A mí me gusta eso de la regla del tres. Right? Entonces vamos a poner tres. Recuerden, vamos a usar el verbo en tercera persona, has. Vamos a usar un artículo, right? si es uno. right? Si son varios, pues vamos a usar el plural. Okay? Y al final vamos a usar la, con, la um, conjunction word en a para decir y un espejo por ejemplo en a meter right y un televisor en a television right entonces me van a preparar eso right prepárenmelo prepárense prepárense les voy a dar cuánto tres minutos uno dos tres cuatro cuatro minutos cuatro minutos un minuto por lugar kitchen tres cosas que tengan por lo menos en la kitchen Tres cosas que tengan por lo menos en dining room. Explicando. For example, my kitchen has a stove, a refrigerator, and what? Pictures? Maybe. Puede ser. Right? Entonces, ustedes se preparan. Yo les digo cuál me van a decir. Right? Cuatro minutos. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Four minutes. Practice. Get ready.
All right, time is up. Time is up. Time is up. Four minutes exactly. All right. Um, do I have volunteers? Do we have volunteers? Ah, Laura says my kitchen has a microwave, a toaster bread, a blend. Solo que blender era con B la otra vez, verdad? Blender. Y dice. Mm, Fíjate que te faltó porque tendría que ser, vaya, my kitchen has a microwave, a toaster bread, and a blender. And a blender. Y una licuadora, right? My. Ah, ok, teacher. Beth. Me escribiste mal, bedroom. Hmm. A ver, ¿quién más? ¿Quién más? Volunteers. Ah, ahí tengo, ahí tengo, wait, one second, one second, one second, ahí estamos, ok, vamos, empezamos con Marvin, escuchemos a Marvin, let's go. Marvin, uh, what about your dining room? Tell me about your dining room. My dining room has a dining table, uh, four chairs, and coffee table. And a... And a coffee table. Ajá, ajá. Ojo, con la inercia a veces se nos va el A, a pesar de que vamos a hacer un plural, ¿ok? Vamos a trabajar con ese. Ese es tu buffer ahorita. Ese es tu buffer. Y, y tu okay. bedroom, tell me about your bedroom. Marvin? Hello? Tell me about your bedroom. My bedroom has a bed, a closet, and a rocking chair. Bingo. Eso es lo que yo espero. That's what I'm expecting. Thank you. Let me go with Juan José García. No es que esté con los chicos, chicas, pero es que yes. quiero aprovecharlos. Uh -huh. Tell me about your living room. My living room has a bed, a mirror, and a dresser. And, and a dresser. And a dresser. Okay, okay, vamos con las chicas. Hey, sir, go ahead. Tell me. Tell me about your kitchen. My kitchen has a table, a stove, and a three chairs. Really? Ah, your kitchen, your kitchen is your dining room? And my dining room has a coffee table to cut curtains. En a club. Segura, Miss, porque me dijo que en su kitchen tiene un table, me dijo, y que tiene las sillas ahí, tiene chairs. You sure? Y tengo. Ah, ok, ok, grande, entonces, es big, es big. Es All right. Es como el comedor con las, con las sillas en la cocina. Ok, tell me about your bedroom. En my bedroom has a two baths. Two, two bathrooms? Four. Two bathrooms? Bathroom? Ah, bathroom. Ah, my bathroom. Baños, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. my, my, bedroom bedroom my, my, my bedroom has two bathrooms. Bathroom. Okay, my bathroom has a, a mirror, a course, and a picture. And a picture. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, hey, sir. Let me hear, Daniela. What about your dining room? Tell me about your dining room, Daniela. My dining room has a table, six chairs, and a lamp. Perfect. Perfect. Natural. Elena, what about your bedroom? Tell me about your bedroom. Okay. Uh, my bedroom has a bed, a lot of pictures, a mirror, a sofa, um, a bookcase, and a closet. A sofa or, or a sofa? A sofa, I'm sorry. There you go, there you go. Nicely done. Chicos, yo sé que la participación está súper. Eh, mándenme entonces los que quedaron pendientes, mándenme su práctica, right, en el grupo, hablándome de por lo menos dos lugares, right, tres cosas en esos dos lugares. Ustedes lo escogen. Kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom, all right? You send it to the WhatsApp chat. Tenemos que irnos corriendo a la asistencia. Let's check. 
Here we go once again. Alba Luz Cruz de Vasquez. Present. Andrea Elizabeth Gonzalez Burgos. Present. Carlos David Lopez Amaya. Present, teacher. Okay. Um, Claudia Margarita Constante Quesada. Present. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Present. Oops, okay, ya le había puesto ahí. Falta a misa. Ok, gracias. Um, Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Present. All right, Diana. Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. Present. Esteban Otoniel Chiquillo Rodríguez. Present. All right. Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. Present teacher. Hazel Rocío Pastrande Enríquez. I'm here, teacher. Josué Azael Orellana Mejía. Missing in action. Juan José García Méndez. Present teacher. Karen Jamilet Pérez Martínez. Present teacher. Carlos Chumara Centeno de Valiente. Present teacher. Crisia Gabriela Barrera Menjibar. Present teacher. Laura Noemi Dimas Escobar. Present teacher. Marlon David Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. Marvin Nivardo Escobar. I'm here, teacher. No, Elia Elizabeth Núñez de Castro. Missing in action. Ovidio Alexander Guevara Argueta. Present teacher. Pamela Alexandra Melara Colocho. Present. Patricia Jamilet Martínez Landa Verde. Present teacher. Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present teacher. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Tamar Alexandra Portillo Melara. Present teacher. Tatiana Lisset Ramos Gómez. Present teacher. Uh -huh. yeah. Telma Jamilet Hernández Mezquita. Vilma, Present teacher. Thank you, Telma. Vilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. Present. And Wilfredo Bonilla Alvarez. Present teacher. Sí, aquí Dígame. estoy presente. Aquí estoy presente que no, no escuché mi nombre tampoco. What's your name? What's your name? Santos Guadalupe. Yes, yes. I, I always said it. Pero ya te puse acá, no te preocupes. Quien me debe Gracias. tarea, me la manda mañana. Porfa, guys. I'll see you okay. tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Easy. Good Sweet Good dreams. Night. Be safe. Practice your English. The more you speak, the better for you. Yeah. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Well done. Good job tonight. Good job tonight, huh? Tonight. Pat on the back, pat Thank on the back, teacher. pat on the back. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Sorry, gotta go. I'm sorry.